Falcon Clubhouse, which is quite frankly a noun you don't want to say too quickly, is one of the most iconic sites in golf. It towers impressively over the par 5 18th here in Abu Dhabi, a hole where earlier in the week I caught up with a young man notching up his 101st event on the European Tour. Mateo, happy new year. Thank it's a, a new season and a new bag for you, a new set of clubs. How difficult has that decision been to move from Titleist to Callaway now? Yeah, it's been, um, it's not been easy for sure. I've had a long and, and successful and, and really nice relation with, uh, with Titleist. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to find something new, to try something new. And um, definitely Callaway gave me Give me something, something really good that I've got now in the bag. Do you think people maybe make more of it than they should when a player leaves one manufacturer and goes to the other? I know we had a lot of chat last year about Rory McIlroy uh, going to Nike, and uh, people talked about that a lot. Do you think people make more of a deal about it than, than it really is? Well, um, in some circumstances, it's, it's more difficult than what it, than what it seems. Um, but in general, manufacturers these days make great clubs, make great balls. In the end it's just about getting used to it and it's personal. Sometimes a bigger deal is made uh, than, than what it should be because it's just really about the player to get used to it and to, and to find, the, find the right things to, in, straight away and that, that's what makes the difference. Well let's look to your second shot here on the let's see, Yeah, I think we're just down on the left in the semi-rough. Come out a bit low, but you're safely up the left. Yeah, the rough is really high this year. I mean, the ball sits down a long way, and seeing the line, it was so thick that I had to go left. So I'm going to have like a seven iron in probably to a front pin, which is never easy. You finished 11th on the Race to Dubai last year, your best finish so far. You won the flagship European Tour event last year, Wentworth. What's the natural progression for you now? What is in your targets, what's in your sights for, for this year and beyond? Well, uh, of course, this year um, everybody's thinking of, uh, of one particular event and that's Ryder Cup. Um, but we all know how hard it is. Players are playing so good right now. And that's great, you know, for European golf. But you know, last year was amazing to win a winter. And, you know, to do something like that again would, uh, would accomplish uh, another great goal. I've improved things from, from last year. I just need to, to sharp them up and, uh, and hopefully it's going to be another great season. I think the wind is just straight across so it's probably going to be uh, seven is going to struggle. I would go with a little six. Yeah, I think the distance was pretty good. I just left it a little right and the wind took it even more right. So that's you know, the difficulty sometimes of uh, having, being protected from the wind. Yeah. You have to trust it so much and you really have to start left to make it come back. You've played, I suppose, roughly a dozen majors now. Which of the four majors do you think presents your, your best immediate chance for, for success in the near future? I would say for, uh, for my kind of game, um, probably the Open and, um, and the US Open are the two that might suit me the most. Um, I would say Lynx Golf uh, and the, the, the toughness in most of the US Open courses, I think those could be the, the two best uh, possibilities for me, I would take any. <laughs> I bet you would. It's probably going to be uh, around five to six feet of break and it starts uphill and those are the toughest parts when they start uphill and then they end up uh, being uh, fastly downhill. I'm just going to concentrate on uh, lagging it there, try to have uh, as easy of a second putt I can. And don't do anything silly. Don't do anything silly. It's 
out there if it's up. See, it's too a short. Bit shy. I'll let you mark that one up. Yeah, nicely done. Two. Thank you, Tom. A nice five at the end. No damage done. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Thanks. Have a great season. Thank you. Thanks a lot.